Ukraine is, is fighting back. Uh, they are defending themselves. And as I said uh, earlier to Jen, uh, we certainly have seen indications that uh, the Russians are not, uh, in every case, making the progress that they thought they were going to make. So two things on that point. Uh, President Biden just announced that We continue uh, to prov provide for support for Ukraine to defend itself. The situation, right, is different in Ukraine than it was just a few days ago. So it would follow, I would think, that we're going, you know, that, uh, that we're, we're going to have to look for other ways to do this. The airspace over Ukraine is contested. The Russians don't have superiority of it. It's contested. Uh, so we are going. I'll be very clear here. We are going to provide additional security assistance for Ukraine. We will. How that is going to be done is still being worked out. A couple of weeks ago, why are there some such few details? And if the need is so urgent, I think we're looking at all kinds of different ways uh, to continue supporting uh, Ukrainian armed forces, uh, and we're uh, we're not taking anything off the table with respect to to how that. Uh, how that might manifest itself going forward, and that could include uh, that could include some training. It was 8,500. Uh, the Pentagon has said since then that there With today's activation notice by General Walters, we stand ready, uh, if called upon by NATO, to support the NRF in the defense of the alliance, uh, and we'll absolutely do that. We welcome, we welcome the comments made by our South Korean allies. A, a good chunk of the of the 7,000 we talked about yesterday, um, uh, we believe will be earmarked for NATO contributions. Again, if it's the, if it's deemed that they are needed, they're wanted, and they're ready. And if they aren't, well, then they'll be used. They can be used uni unilaterally to support and reassure our allies. Uh, Finland came forward uh, raising the, the prospect of reorienting. Of the 7,000 that the president ordered yesterday. Uh, some of those uh, will will probably be earmarked for the NATO response force when we finally hash out the requirements with the alliance and what that looks like. And it was the secretary's desire uh, to get them moving, get them ready and get them moving and get them uh, uh, as prepositioned as possible so that when we have all the requirements in place, when actual deployment orders are given for the NATO response force by the, by the alliance, uh, they'll be more ready to do that. Is the Defense Department doing anything to prevent Kyiv from falling? And so there's still some homework to be done, still some math that needs to be worked out. Uh, but again, the secretary wanted to make sure, and the president obviously wants to make sure, that we're leaning as far forward as we can. European intelligence officials say that actually half of Russia's combat power that had amassed. Uh, one of the reasons we're doing this uh, is because we want to make it clear to him that we will defend every inch of NATO territory. 7,000 as a separate silo from the 12,000 that are there that will 